Much. As we continue our back to school rollout through Central Georgia, we took a trip to see how Central High School students were ready for their first day. BJ Patterson got with the Sugar Bear Band as they welcomed everyone in to the new school year. Classes are back in session at Central High School and these chargers are going in with a bang. Parents dropped their scholars off to school around 7 Wednesday morning. Some students walked to campus, but everyone made it in safely. Central High was the first school on Superintendent Dan Sims' to-do list as he made his way through the district to meet and greet his new family of educators and learners. This is Sims' first day of school as superintendent, and he's hoping to make a good impression. We're excited about all of the... Uh, opportunities to see all of our students and all the different learning environments and just to make sure that everybody feels good about this first day and every day beyond. And Sims isn't the only one. Musical director Cameron Aggie is serving his second year with the Sugar Bear Band. Uh, last year we were still coming out of COVID and stuff like that. So this year is all about just kind of reshaping what our tradition is going to be for the Sugar Bear Band, as well as uh, paving new ways and bringing new innovation. Aggie and his band of 115 got a few tricks up their sleeves this season for halftime. My favorite song that we've worked on thus far this season would be I Like The Way, also known as The Kissing Game by High Five. Seems like Central High has a lot in store for this year, but education is always first, so students don't be late, you'll miss something great. I know you heard that one before. In Macon, BJ Patterson, 13 WMAZ News. Still worth repeating, BJ. Thank you. Back in June, the school board made the decision to prohibit the use of cell phones on campus. Students who are caught using their phones without permission will have that phone confiscated, and the parent will have to schedule a meeting with the school to get it back. Exceptions include getting permission from the superintendent or emergencies.